Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 and 21 says, He exercised this power in Christ by raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every ruler and authority, power and dominion, and every title given, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. God, by his great power, has raised Jesus Christ from the dead. In doing so, he has forever declared his, uh, Jesus to be his son. And then, when Jesus ascended to heaven, God sat Jesus at his right hand, a most honored position in the heavens. Paul explains that this position is far above every other in its power and authority. There is no other ruler, authority, position, or name or title that even comes close to that which Jesus Christ possesses at the right hand of God. There are many times in our daily lives when it's easy to lose sight of the position Jesus really does occupy and begin to live as though other names are higher than his. For example, Sometimes we may live like our names are the most important in life so that we live according to our own fleshly desires and ambitions rather than live for Jesus. Or sometimes we may live like the names of our family members, whether it's a spouse or children or parents or whoever, are the most important and want to please them above pleasing Jesus. Or Sometimes we may live like the names of our friends and peers are the most important and want them to think well of us more than wanting Jesus to think well of us. Or sometimes we may live like the names of those in earthly positions of authority over us, whether employers or earthly rulers or whoever, are more powerful and significant than the name of Jesus. Today's response to hearing God's word is this. Honor the name of Jesus above all others. Recognize that there is no one who possesses the position of sitting at the right hand of God and the authority of being king of all kings and master of all masters besides Jesus. He came to this position through humble submission to the Father's will to suffer and die for your sins. And then, while others may seem more important to your life now, you must remember that it is Jesus you will stand and bow before on the day of judgment. So, you must learn to live every moment of your life on earth honoring the name of Jesus Christ above every other name by doing His will.